I mean, look, we had the downturn in oil prices in 15 and 16. That was basically OPEC fights the U.S. for market share, and the U.S., the shale revolution, won. And so our production costs have gone down. The production growth rate has still continued extremely high. What does OPEC do about it? Well, you know, the price continues to fall. I don't need to tell you that, Chris. You live it every single day trying to make a living at Liberty Oilfield Services. As prices come down, you've got to squeeze your suppliers, squeeze your margins even more. Do you think OPEC will react more to get the price up? The, the Saudis aren't going to be happy at 51 a barrel and 60. Brent. No, I think that's true. I think that's true. I think we're getting near a floor where things with their budgets get very tough for the OPEC nations. So they don't want oil prices to drop below this. But what it means is they've got to continue to cede market share to U.S. growth. Can you, can you at Liberty, can other frackers and service companies and Permian Basin producers, can they make money at 51 and change in oil? I'd say it's near the bottom end. The best producers with the best acreage can, but things get tough. The industry as a whole is not doing great below $50. No, so this, this is a lower amount. And value. by the way, it's been reflected in the stock prices. Again, I don't need to tell you that. Energy, the worst performing sector this year, over the past year, investors... I don't want to say they're giving up, Chris, but, man, they're frustrated. They that, haven't made a dime in years. If, if they're not giving up, they're awful close to it. I think that is the challenge in our, our industry. We've gone through this incredible world revolution in energy, um, but uh, the industry as a whole has not made a great return on capital. Liberty has. Our business has. How? The how have you, how have you done that? Hasn't. How have you done that at Liberty? Just differential, competitive advantage. Technology and culture and efficiencies in our business are different than our competitors. Um, but, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's not an industry-wide solution. What are, your, um, what are the vendors that you talk to? Because you, you get hired by the big oil companies. What are they telling you right now? What are they saying? They're saying things are tough. Things are tough. People, anybody that's a lower, that's a higher cost or even a mid-cost producer is getting squeezed, is going to get pushed out. Um, if the rate of improvements slow down, uh, you have huge profitability problems across the industry.